the first time around, I talked about the impact that WikiLeaks had on me personally, because I'm a student of the COINTELPRO papers. I've read there's thousands of them that explain to us all of the things that our country did, that our government did. Well, those people who operate within and on behalf of the U.S. government, they did to innocent U.S. citizens as well as people abroad who were merely exercising their constitutional rights. There's thousands of pages and I've read most of them. So I understand that government operatives will do anything in order to achieve what is defined as their goal, which might not be equivalent to our goal for our government. And Definitely. So as I think about, um, and of course I had to have my dissertation scrubbed of all of my WikiLeaks references that I use, the kind of censorship that that demonstrated and that merely occurred because of the laws that are on the books in the U.S. right now, mainly the Patriot Act, which will imprison a, well, of course, we know not only librarians, uh, but journalists as well, who utilize certain information. And so um, because the Obama administration had prosecuted Barry Brown, the librarian said, oh, no, you got to take that out because, and then what we found was that not a single published dissertation had used WikiLeaks. Now, I hope that that circumstance has changed because WikiLeaks is a tremendous tool for those of us who want to tell the truth about what our governments are doing. And uh, of course, the greatest purveyor of violence on the planet being the United States government, then of course it's incumbent upon us to know, as particularly us taxpayers, to know what the heck our government is doing in our name with our tax dollars.